Hi, Steve from Angels Plus here. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, what do you do to get your koi so colorful? Um, I've, I've been trying to get my koi so that they color up like yours and I just can't do it. And my answer is usually, you know, keep them as stress-free as possible. Give them the best water quality. Feed them properly. Make sure they look good. If their body and their fins don't look perfect, you're going to have a hard time making their color look perfect. So you got to work on everything. Um, food is important, but food is not the most important. But it's important enough that if you don't feed food with carotenoids in it, you won't get any orange on your, on your fish because angelfish cannot produce orange or red or yellow. All of those pigments are extracted from their food and then stored in their skin. So you hear somebody say, I don't color feed my fish. This is what you get because this is just their natural color. Well, wrong. That's not how it works. Everyone color feeds their fish, mostly because it's hard to find a food that doesn't have carotenoids in it. It's, it's just, there's 500 different carotenoid compounds. They're in virtually every food on the planet. Some have more, some have less. So the key is to feed fish foods that have quite a bit in it. Give them the opportunity to store it. As long as they genetically have the ability to store it and you take excellent care of them, they will store it. So it's just a matter of doing everything right. Now, as far as prepared foods go, uh, we do have a preference. We uh, feed an awful lot of our color primal pellet, and it's because it has some carotenoids added to it that tend to uh, help the fish as long as you do everything else right. Um, they'll store that and they'll reach their potential. Um, and uh, so I'm going to give you a little demonstration right now feeding that uh, primal pellet, the color primal pellet. And this is the 0.5 millimeter, very, very, very tiny pellet. Let's sprinkle a little bit here in the tank. They kind of anticipate me coming. And as you can see, they have a very vigorous feeding response. They, uh, they go after it really, you know, very readily. Uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't take any coercion to get them to eat this pellet. And it's not a crumble, so it's, uh, you know, there isn't really any fines in it. It's a nice extruded pellet, um, very clean. And as you can see, they're, you know, they're going nuts over it. They'll, they, they, as long as you don't overfeed, overfeeding is always bad. Um, and it's not the only food we give them. We like giving them variety, but I would say this is the primary food that we like to give our, our koi. Um, they'll get a color flake too now and then. Uh, we'll even give them some frozen brine shrimp. Um, but uh, I'd say 90% of their diet is a manufactured food, um, of a dry food of some sort. So anyway, uh, this is what we recommend. Uh, hope this helps. Good luck with your fish.